Um, so the first talk is about prostate uh, and she wave elastography. And prostate cancer is a very specific disease where it's the second leading cause of uh, cancer death in men and the most common diagnosed malignancy in men. So you see it's a major issue and it's a healthcare issue. And the uh, imaging modalities are not doing so well for the uh, diagnosis and location of the prostate cancer. There is a specific uh, uh, situation for uh, prostate anatomy when scanning with the ultrasound is that we are able to diagnose and identify the peripheral zone. And we know that in this peripheral zone, uh, almost 80% of cancer will develop. And this peripheral zone is just against the rectal wall, so very clear, very close from the uh, transducer. So as I told you, the diagnosis test that we can use is uh, obviously the P PSA dosage. Unfortunately, um, and despite some new uh, dosage and some new marker, um, almost 20% uh, uh, of cancer will have normal PSA values. The uh, transrectal ultrasound examination sensitivity is only in between 50 to 60%, meaning that we're missing almost one cancer of two, and uh, is, its role right now is reduced to uh, detection of cancer in, in the case of abnormal digital rectal examination or PSA increase, and mainly to guide the biopsy or therapy when we're doing some brachytherapy. Contrast enhanced ultrasound is under evaluation. MRI technique is probably uh, one of the most interesting um, uh, approach. It allows cancer detection and staging and combines the T2 weighted examination, diffusion Im Im imaging, and, and dynamic contrast enhanced MRI, as well as spectroscopy, but I, I would not discuss this topic. The problem of uh, MRI dealing with the cancer detection, it's its very low specificity uh, below 20%. So finally, the biopsies are probably uh, uh, the most performed uh, diagnostic tech. This is the only one that provides uh, the cancer diagnosis and, and grade, but the false negative rate is about 25%, and this is a major issue. So improving the guidance of uh, um, the biopsy to the most uh, abnormal territories and, and probably the prostate uh, cancer area is the issue. The uh, con contrast enhanced uh, examination can be used and many uh, uh, published uh, papers in the literature report the improved uh, uh, efficacy of uh, transrectal biopsy guided to the abnormal enhancing areas in, in prostate. So this approach is probably one of the leading approach, and, and it's very close to um, the uh, potential of she wave elastography in uh, uh, prostate examination. So as I try to demonstrate, there is clearly a large room for improvement in prostate imaging, and maybe she wave elastography can help us, not only for screening, and this is mainly in increasing the sensitivity of transrectal ultrasound, but also for cancer detection, nodule characterization, and also biopsy guidance to the most suspicious areas or nodules detected at shear wave elastography. It is also interesting for staging and might also improve the therapy guidance and monitoring therapeutic response. This is what we can expect. Of course, as a new imaging technique, there's always a lot to learn about the scanning uh, uh, approach, and uh, there are a few tips and tricks that I can provide you. Uh, obviously, you can use, you should use a prostate preset, and then use the penetration option. The Shiwe scale should be adapted to the organ you're scanning and to the situation, and mainly we maintain the maximum uh, uh, value of uh, uh, she wave elastography in between 70 to 90 kilopascal. The critical point is not to push on the prostate using the transrectal transducer. Otherwise, as I will see you in this short loop, and now I'm starting to push a little bit, and you see that the entire prostate is becoming extremely stiff and, uh, uh, and red, so because red is stiff uh, areas. And then we start the acquisition, and we wait a little bit to stabilize the acquisition. 
and we analyze the color pattern using the appropriate color scale. So basically, at this point, we enrolled uh, uh, almost 50 patients, but only 40 are in this study, with a PSL level uh, average is in 6.7. Uh, we combine all uh, imaging uh, techniques, including the uh, conventional ultrasound, color Doppler, she wave elastography. We also combine it with contrast enhanced ultrasound and MRI uh, for uh, the detection and the characterization of the nodule. All patients got the systematic biopsies as well as targeted biopsies on all abnormal areas detected for any of these uh, techniques. In three patients, we had to discard the results as it was impossible to match the uh, B mode to the um, she wave acquisition to the MRI results with the biopsy 2. So basically, we detected 65 nodules, and these were with uh, 23 uh, adenocarcinoma. We discarded all micro cancer of uh, below uh, 2 millimeters. Uh, as you see, the uh, peripheral zone, and I think that's a unique uh, feature of uh, uh, she wave elastography of the prostate, the peripheral zone is extremely homogeneous and extremely uh, soft with values below, you see, uh, 30 kilopascals. And this is the acquisition. So you typically, if you wait, you see that this area, this is a peripheral zone, will become soft and extremely homogeneous. And I think that this is uh, why uh, we, we love so much the, uh, uh, this technique. At the contrary, you see that the transition zone is ext extremely heterogeneous, and uh, uh, you see that this area is extremely uh, 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 stiff, and uh, uh, the values are extremely different, and we're not expecting very much of detection or characterization within the transition zone. In this patient, the entire prostate was completely uh, 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 an adenocarcinoma of glisson 9, so extremely aggressive uh, cancer, but the prostate was completely homogeneous, and you see that this transition zone was uh, uh, deeply abnormal, and that was at the beginning of our experience. You can notice that the uh, uh, scale was pushed to 180 kilopascal, and despite this, you see saturation of the signals. So as I told you, the very critical thing is this very homogeneous peripheral zone, very soft peripheral zone, and this is why we can detect uh, uh, the cancer with a, uh, such a good uh, performance. You, so you see in the loop, we wait a little bit to stabilize the signal, and then we move to the next plane. The uh, benign nodules, you see at, as this one that you can see here, this is a, a, a non-hypervascular benign nodule, they look extremely soft, as in this example, it's a nodule of a prostatitis, uh, uh, and the values are really comparable to the uh, uh, surrounding normal peripheral zone. At the contrary, the cancer is a very stiff uh, uh, area or nodule, as in this one, this is a, a lesion that was uh, extended at the base of the prostate, and, uh, and the values are above 100 kilopascal, so extremely stiff area, and you see that the peripheral zone still remains very soft. So it's possible to make both measurements and calculate the ratio between the two areas. This is the only false negative case that we had. It's a, a, a small nodule of 8 millimeter in the uh, peripheral zone, and uh, the color Doppler was not ex exhibiting any specific pattern, and you see that this nodule was uh, uh, as soft as the surrounding uh, uh, peripheral zone with values of around 20 kilopascal, and this is the acquisition uh, that, that we obtain. You see that this nodule. In fact, we considered that this lesion was still a, a cancer because there, was, there were two foci of one millimeter in the same biopsy sample, and the pathologists considered that these two foci, despite their small size, correspond to the lesion that is including uh, a, a six millimeter uh, cancer. So when we reviewed the case, maybe there was a, uh, that was a little bit too much. 
And this is a, a very recent case where both the uh, uh, B mode and color Doppler were normal. And then by scanning, we could see that there was a, a pyramidian stiff nodule that was completely non-detected at uh, uh, conventional Doppler, a conventional ultrasound and uh, color Doppler, and uh, uh, even contrast enhanced ultrasound. The MR was completely normal, but the, because of these very uh, high values above 50 kilopascal and with a ratio above 3.7, we uh, decided to uh, biopsy, and I performed uh, three biopsies in this nodule, and basically it was an uh, eight millimeter cancer with uh, adenocarcinoma glisson seven. So this patient, because it was a young patient, was referred to surgery, and uh, because that was a very limited cancer. So in, in the case of diffuse uh, uh, invasion of massive adenocarcinoma of Gleason uh, uh, 9, as in this case, you see that all areas in the prostate were extremely stiff, and that was a little bit confusing at the beginning of our experience. So basically, she wave elastography of the prostate is feasible in all patients. The adjacent peripheral zone, adjacent to the uh, abnormal zones, it was uh, uh, 24 kilopascal, plus or minus 13. The cancer was much above with 65 plus or minus 56 kilopascal, while the benign nodules were around 30 kilopascal. And you see, if we compare the benign nodules to the malignant one, either if we take uh, the, uh, uh, just the values in kilopascal or the ratio with the surrounding uh, prostate, there's a very significant difference in between the two of them. So uh, these numbers are coming from uh, the beginning of our experience, and this is consider considering all patients now, and you see that the she-wave elastography is still providing very high sensitivity values, specificity values, positive predictive values, and moreover, negative predictive values. So this is the, uh, you see the rock curve for both the Shiway values and the ratio, and you see that the IUC is 0.99 with a ratio value which is extremely good. So basically, uh, the transrectal ultrasound examination of the prostate has a very limited objective due to the low positive predictive values. With uh, contrast enhanced ultrasound, there are some expectation, but this, uh, the, sh the arterial enhancement is very short, so the she wave elastography is providing uh, very interesting preliminary results and uh, 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 deserve a, a deeper investigation for not only detection but also characterization, guiding, and monitoring of prostate lesions. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>